Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Stroker Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, good morning. How you doing all right? Today is Monday, July 22nd, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 204. In today's show, we will cover 16... We will cover driver's license. We will cover Oz. Yes, I said Oz. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in a powerful CHUMP studio. Oh, I got out of line a little bit. Yeah, no, I didn't. CHUMP Studio. Today's show is brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com. R E D I T O O.com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then wear a $100 helmet. But if your head is priceless, like mine, wear a Simpson. They're the best. We are a dealer. StrokersDallasMerch.com. Remember, once you crack that egg, it ain't never going back together. Also brought to you by Pulse Tech. Extreme Charge. This is the best maintenance battery charger on the planet. I got 50 of them going right now. We are a dealer at StrokersDallasMerch.com. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1972. So in 1972, my brother and I were 15 and 16 years old. We had bought a motorcycle. He had bought a... Yamaha 100, and at the same time, I bought a Honda 100. So, we went to get our driver's license. I was eligible before him. And I, I will post a picture of my first driver's license. And I remember it was, it was cool outside. It wasn't cool. It was cold. We had had a, a thunderstorms and rain the night before, and it froze, so there were a lot of patchy ice on the road. So back then, I don't know how they do it now, but back then, uh, you had to have somebody ride your motorcycle to the DMV, and you had to furnish a car for them to ride in. So uh, I rode the bike to the DMV myself, but I parked around back where they couldn't see me pull up. My mom drove the car up there. The DMV guy's going to ride with my mom. He said, do you have your motorcycle here? And I said, yes, sir. He said, how'd you get it here? And I said, uh, my dad dropped it off. Okay. And he said, son, it's icy out. There are patches of ice on the road. Maybe you should come back tomorrow. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. I've been waiting. Okay, be careful. Get on the bike. Go through the parking lot. I get to the first street. He said, turn right when you get to the first street. I get to the first street. I turn right. Hit a nice patch. The bike slides out from under me. The cop comes, picks me up, and he was an old man. He was probably 30. And he said, son, I told you to watch out for that ice. Now you go home and you come back when that ice clears up. And I said, yes, sir. And I did. I came back the next day or the day after and got my license. But that's my big memory was... Uh, laying my bike down in front of the DMV uh, uh, Texas Highway Patrol people or what do we call them? Texas something. Highway Patrol, I guess. Okay, let's check that truck. Check that truck. You big old 
Ooh, that was my finger. Woo, hey, look at those. Those are those weaved, different colors, weaved with white. Those are pretty cool looking. I like that. I like color, but I like a black truck. Okay, so this is white toe, white so one single red racing stripes, no vent hose, white logo, red shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. You want to check the office? All right. You got the uh, uh, enough wind uh, whistle? We'll try. When we had the TV show, the production company made up these napkins. The more I drink, the better I like you, Ma. She's got a drink in her hand and a cigarette in the other hand. Love you, Mom. Okay. That's a, that's a uh, trip down memory lane there for a second. Grandma's calendar, I might have to read it to you because my iPhone 15 won't focus in on the small stuff. 75 years ago today, month, uh, July 22nd, 1949, Grandma wrote, we went to Mother's, this was a Friday, we went to Mother's, Stayed all day. She was canning corn. They did a lot of canning out there in the country. Harry, that's my dad, is working in the hay at Greens. I'm guessing Greens must be a farm or something that my dad was working at. He would have been about 16. You know, I grew up... I grew up in Irving, Texas. I'm 68, 67, I'll be 68, 67, my wife is 63, we have never lived outside of Irving, Texas, I'm third generation from Irving, she is fifth generation from Irving. I don't know what it's like to live in the country. Although back when I was a kid, Irving, Texas was not a big town and it's still kind of not a big town, but it's a suburb of a big town. So uh, I believe Irving, Texas is a great place to live and we have lots of cool things going on. You should check it out. Dad joke, where did the cow go on his birthday? Movies. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Watch what people do, not what they say. There's a lot of people, and we all know them, that what they say and what they do are two different things. Watch what they do, not what they say they're going to do. Today is Monday, so we have the Monday Night Jam, the Dollar Store Generals. The guys put on a great show. We appreciate them. Uh, they play some good music. If you want, you can get up and sing or play an instrument. And it's very entertaining. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know Frank Oz was the voice for Yoda, Miss Piggy, and the Cookie Monster. And that, boys and squirrels, uh, girls, is the rest of the story. Frank Oz, now that ain't that Dr. Oz, and that ain't that Wizard of Oz, so I don't know this Frank Oz, but it's a cool last name. What's your last name, Oz? How you spell it? O-Z. Rick Fearless Fearless, I got to go. I got to get some money work done. Love you, bye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow, pal.